Good morning, guys. I'm so tired. Don't know why, but I've woken up and I feel like death. <laughs> the reason why I'm wearing a singlet today is because I'm getting these things removed. So I'm gonna take you along with me to get my stitches removed. <laughs> These are always good vlogs. I've done this one before with my foot. Hope that everything goes well I'm with the surgeon today. And he tells me like a time frame of when I can like have this off. It would be absolutely amazing. It is killing me. This thing, I hate it. I would go a few other things I'm gonna do today, hopefully. I've got some packages arriving actually, so I might do a little try on haul. An update with my arm. I don't, I'm just so tired. Like last night, it was kind of painful. And I didn't stop sleeping though. So I don't get it. It's been better throughout the day. Night times are just very hard. I'm just not getting the right sleep I should be. My dad's okay. All right, let's go. First up, we're gonna say good morning to Spuddy. Good morning, baby. A second up. I can't film with one hand. Wait. Make my morning coffee. This is how you do it one handed. My right hand seems to sometimes want to reach and grab things. Yeah. Coffee's in there. Not because I'm obsessed with piccolo, so it's such a better ratio of coffee to milk. And I don't know. If you guys are new here, this is like literally my backyard. Birds chirping all morning. Being the shittest recovery I've ever done. Just because you can't do anything. Like with your foot, at least you can just like put it up or like walk around with it, you can still use your hands. With your shoulder, I can't even put my hair up. I can't even like wash my hair. I can't even straighten it. I can't even like cook food. I can't like, like how annoying is all of that? It's been good because we're already two weeks in. Not long to go now. Let's go. Yeah. Within the building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Dr. McBride's just in the specialist suite. So we oh, just okay. stand right here. Yeah. First door on your right. Just see one of the receptions. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just right. Yeah. So you've got no stitches there or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's good. Ew, my shoulder looks so swollen. Okay, so we just finished up at the doctor's or the surgery. I had no stitches, which was a bit of a letdown. <laughs> I thought there was going to be stitches. So that's embarrassing. We're going to go look at cars. Aren't we, Mum? Look at cars that we can't buy. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> oh, Mum just had surgery on her mouth the other day. And now she can't talk. <laughs> I need to buy a new car because I'm selling my car. But we're going to go look at some nice cars because I can. We just looked at Range Rover just for fun because sometimes there's some secondhand ones and the Range Rover Velars, um, I just love Range Rover. Hopefully one day I can be a little mum and have a little mum, a big mum, big mama, and have um, a like Range Rover Sport, you know, always been my dream. Just wanted to look at them with mum and see what she thought. <laughs> it's just stupid if I got one. They're so expensive and I feel like they're just known to have problems, so it's like, why would you buy a Range Rover when they're just going to have problems and stuff? Anyway, they were so nice. The white one 
was beautiful the white sport was so beautiful like sometimes you can get away with like velars like range rover velars second hand which still is a lot of money like i don't know why i'm even looking we were just having fun and that's okay we like went into range rover and they also asked if we needed help and if we wanted coffee or water and i was like it's fine we're just looking we're not gonna buy anything <laughs> we're those annoying people now we're gonna go look at another toyota place <clears throat> Toyota is probably the car I'm going to buy. I am uh, thinking um, about a Toyota Prado. It's not too sure yet. I'm thinking about getting a Toyota, um, a big mama's car that forward drives because I'm that type of girl. Everyone's always like, why don't you get a sporty car, like a nice car? I'm just so obsessed with like forward drive cars. Like I wanted a ute. And everyone talked me out of it. I was going to get a ute, guys. So, don't think we're going to get a ute. I think we're going to get a big mama's car. A big four-wheel drive. Maybe a Land Cruiser Prado. Because they're a bit on the cheaper side. And they're just such good cars. They're so reliable. They're just amazing cars. So, why not? Like, why would I get something that... Yeah, it looks good and it sounds good. But... I should just think more long-term. More practical. Something that is going to take us on the beach. Off-road. And we can have fun and travel around Australia because I live here like why don't I do that so yeah that's sort of the plan but the problem is I can't find any Toyota dealerships that have any stock because there's a new model coming out I'm on the expressions of interest I'm on the wait list but that doesn't come out they don't even know if it's gonna come out until like September which is ages away so and I'm like literally on the brinks of selling my car. Like people want to buy my car right now. So I'm like, I'm going to be carless for a bit. Let's go have a look at more cars. The big boy. This is what we want. Okay, so we went to Toyota where they had like no Prados at all. So we didn't look at any Prados for you guys. But the new one's coming out. So I spoke to them about that. And I've got my expressions of interest in for that. So that's cool. But now we're going to try and close. Like the tops have been popped. Okay, that hurts my arm way too much. No, 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 no. Surgery appointment, I was completely wrong. So they did little incisions and they've just glued it up. They didn't even do stitches. So I didn't even get to take stitches out with you guys, which was a letdown. Like literally you could see it in my face when I was, the nurse was taking it off. I was like, oh. I am now going to clean out this room because it's an absolute pigsty. I've got my arm out of my sling because this next two weeks, two to four weeks, I can have my arm out of the sling, but in the sling out in the community. So yeah, so I'm just gonna have my arm hang it down and just do my exercises, which is up and down, wrist and neck. And it's already sore, so. And we are going to do an unboxing with the Iconic. The Iconic is like literally amazing. It has so many good stuff. It has everything. I ordered two of them, so now I have to return them. I literally emailed them straight away after and they were like, sorry. We've already ordered two. I've got two of the same dress. I really want to try this one on because it's a new Any Bing, Ain, Ain Bing or Ainy Bing or what? It was on sale and it's new, so I was like, yep. Probably got a medium, but I got a large because oversize is nice. What are we thinking, Spud, rate it out of 1 to 10? That's it. I was actually going medium, but she's kind of cute. Big, oversized. We hope. Okay. I hate these. This is the riskiest thing I've ever done, guys. Order jeans online. These are the horseshoe ones, so I feel like they're going to look weird. know about the horseshoe thing like it's kind of like they kind of look good like because they look baggy but then at the same time I look like I'm a cow girl it's like they're pretty low but this is the back for me 
which I feel like everyone can see into my bum and my knickers. So I need to like get it hemmed or something if I like them. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think, Spot? And as for the least, I don't think it's going to suit me. I think it's going to be too short. I feel it. And yeah, how short it's going to be. That's why it's too short. That's just so sad. <laughs> I feel like I am so, so courteous with what I buy online. I buy it online, it comes here. It's just because I've got just that unusual body shape that I just, I should just not buy online. But everything's online at the moment. That's first world problems for me. All right, so we got some donuts by we were at the shops because of course I love donuts and I got some of these like glazed ones, which I thought the boys would like. Me and mum got one of these each and she already ate it without me. So I'm gonna try it. I'm being so naughty. I feel like I should be being a little bit better with my diet, but I need to fuel my body and my body is asking for donuts, so we are going to have this delicious custard donut. She's puffy, she looks good. Look at the custard coming out of that thing. I can't lift that hand. And gorgeous. Delicious. It's so good. I feel like, I don't know, all over my social media and stuff like TikTok and everything, Coachella just popped up. Like Coachella is literally a festival that you don't hear of until the day of. Like, I had no idea. I completely forgot that Coachella was like this time. And then all of a sudden everyone is overseas at Coachella. I wish I could go to Coachella, but I don't know if that's anyone else, but I just don't hear about it until the day of, which is just like insane. Spuddy, do you want some? Wait, I'm going to show you Spud. Good boy. <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh, what, oh. The, what the heck is going on? A dog literally just walked into the house. Oh my God. What are you doing? I literally just did my hair, guys. I'm trying out um, those like heatless curls and Honestly, it was the biggest struggle to get on my head with like a hand that can only lift up like this. So I was like this. Stay tuned because I need to do my skincare. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do tonight. Time for my skincare, guys. So this is my hair. Also, these are bikinis. I'm still wearing them and it's night time. This is what I do. I buy new bikinis and I literally just live in them because like I think bikinis are just the comfiest bloody things ever. Problem with my skin is I have like all of these blemishes, acne scars, because I used to have very bad skin. I really just wanna fix that. So, that's just annoying. First up, I need to cleanse my face. Oh, what convenience. This whole time, no one has called me, and then I go, I'm gonna make my YouTube video. And then my boyfriend calls me. When I'm making my YouTube video, I'll be back. A few moments later. Okay, now we have to cleanse our face, just like what I said before. Get in with the ordinary gloop. I don't even know how to say it. Glycolipid cream cleanser, which I have like barely any left. And I literally, on my face first, I'll get some water and then I will put some more, like wash it off. Get a clean towel and I just pat. I'm in need of like skin needling. You know how I used to, I don't know if you follow my TikTok and stuff like that, but I was doing like a skin journey and I was getting skin needling. It's just so expensive. I just really can't be stuffed paying $200 to get my skin needled. So yeah, I'm kind of like been having a break, but I feel like I need it because it really helps with my scarring and I loved it. So first I'm gonna put the skin barrier by The Ordinary. Loving this one lately. And I rub that one in. I go in with this B17 serum. This look at my forehead lines are so bad. That's Wi-Fi bars right there. I hope this vitamin B serum gets it gone. 
Also then I'm gonna put hyaluronic acid on, that's literally just to keep it hydrated. But now I'm going to put on a red light mask to just like put it into my skin, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's pouring. I really don't think it's gonna fit around like my whole face, so I'm just gonna like hold it on my face. But basically, red light mask. That's what we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna sit in this for like 10 minutes. So, and it'll be back. One eternity later. All right, so I am complete with my skincare routine, which means I'm going to say good night, good day. Ciao. Good morning, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Can we get GYG? This is hair and makeup done. I'm vlogging. Right.